Okay, so as you probably realize from my YouTube channel, I like filming underwater. And right now, as you probably also realize, if you're following my social media, like my Instagram, check it out. Um, I am not in the Philippines like usual. I am in Austria and particularly on near Lake Milstadt, right on Lake Milstadt. And I wanted to do a little bit of filming here and it's actually a really interesting alpine lake. The downside is that I didn't bring my scuba gear and in any case uh, the lake is about 16 degrees Celsius cold at the surface. So I decided to try using a GoPro on a rope. Let's check it out. So everybody, let's go diving with a GoPro on a rope. And this is the beautiful Milchstädter See. We are just seconds away from going underwater. We are on this little pier here. And let's look around a little bit more. And off we go. So what do we see? Well, we see relatively murky water. We see these freshwater plants. Very occasionally we see a fish and we see the pylons of that pier. Now, there's not so much to see, but that actually gives us the opportunity to learn a lot. So let's ask the question, what are the differences between this alpine lake and a coral reef, the ecosystem which I normally explore? Well, you might say that's a dumb question, but that's wrong. And you might say everything is different. Yes, that's true. But then there are still things to figure out. What does everything mean? So, in particular, there is a big difference between marine ecosystems and freshwater ecosystems. Generally, marine ecosystems, particularly these tropical coral reefs I usually explore, are much, much richer. This, however, is not a given. You know, this doesn't always happen. So, for instance, you have ecosystems like these African rift lakes or the Amazon, where there is an enormous biodiversity in freshwater ecosystems. So why doesn't this happen in this alpine lake? Well, there are a couple more reasons. The Amazon, and, you know, the, all the tributaries, is a huge area with a lot of water and in this massive amount of space, you know, the, the better part of the South American continent. A lot of things can grow and thrive and evolve. So if you have such a huge, oh, there was a fish. If you have such a huge area, obviously, you know, there will be more evolution happening than in a couple of little lakes, which are in alpine valleys. There are additional reasons why this lake is beautiful. Uh, you know, it's interesting to look around, but it doesn't have the biodiversity and the biomass of a coral reef ecosystem. The next reason is that it's much colder. So remember, I'm not diving here. I'm dangling my GoPro under a pier. And the reason is that even though I'm not a very easily freezing person, this is just too cold. And the lower temperature leads to less metabolism, leads to less growth, leads to less biomass. And of course, why is it colder? Oh, wait, there's another fish behind the pylon. The reason it's colder because it's uh, fairly far north and it's in Central Europe, not in the tropics. And number two, there's just less sunlight, particularly during the winter. So where does the energy for all these ecosystems in the tropics come from? Well, from the very intense tropical sunlight. So there's just less energy flow from our mother star. I hope these little reflections were interesting and you know, visit the Milchstädte say It's beautiful. Uh, check back soon. Uh, starting December, I'll be again in the tropics and there will be more videos from 
coral reefs and muck diving sites. See ya!